In February 1953, the Netherlands faced an unprecedented natural disaster. The province Zeeland was flooded by the sea. After this disaster, the Dutch government decided to take drastic measures to avoid such a tragedy in the future. The Delta Plan was born, a beautiful example of flood preparedness. But what if you live in a part of the world where long periods of drought occur? For eight months, no fresh water available, for drinking water supply, cattle and irrigation. Yunnan, one of the poorest provinces of China, faces this type of disaster frequently. How to be prepared for long droughts? The answer is quite simple. Collect water during the wet season and store it for use during the dry parts of the year. Current solutions such as surface storage tanks and artificial lakes are too limited in capacity. How to store large amounts of fresh water for use in times of drought? The answer comes from extremely small creatures that are not even visible to the human eye. Natural bacteria that live in the subsurface. In Yunnan, the topsoil sand layer is on top of fractured rock. During the rain season, rain enters the topsoil layer and disappears into the fractures. While it rains, nutrients are added at the surface. The flow transports the nutrients towards the fractures where biomass is created. The fractures are clogged, implying a groundwater table is formed in the topsoil layer. Fresh water is now available. An unconventional idea, but if it really works, it could change the lives of millions of poor people living in those dry parts of the world where fresh drinking water is not something obvious.